Hi, hello and welcome back to our channel. So, today let's discuss about Order 14 Fiscal Localization for Indonesia. So, Indonesian localization is designed for companies working in Indonesia which includes rules and regulations based on that country. So, like localization for other countries, accounting properties will be auto-generated at the time of installing the localization package for Indonesia also. So, you can install this uh, localization package from Odo App Store. So, just remove the apps filter and search for Indonesia. So, you can see we have two modules. One is Indonesian Accounting and other one Indonesia E50. Uh, so, this is Indonesian accounting is most recent Indonesian order localization needed for SMEs to operate order accounting with generic Indonesian chart of accounts and tax structure. And the second module, it handles electronic invoicing and tax invoice. Uh, so, this module uh, that is electronic tax invoice or e system. It's not an electronic invoice system, but a system for creating a tax invoice that has been verified by the tax office and that contains an integrated VAT return. Uh, so, the e module gets installed along with the international accounting uh, package and it helps one to generate CSV file for one tax invoice or for a batch of tax invoices to be submitted to an e application of the tax office. So I have already installed these modules and um, I have set fiscal localization in accounting. So after configuring company and setting this Indonesia as a country for your company, you can set physical localization uh, for company. So when you go to configuration settings of accounting, Here we can uh, again we can set the uh, Indonesian package. So it is already set. I have already set that. So taxes, physical positions, and chart of accounts and legal statements for your country can be installed. And we can also see the fiscal countries set as Indonesia. So only tax reports associated to this country will be available. So here we can see our partner. So for this partner, uh, you can see the form here, the company name, uh, company address, email, website link. And here we can see an option to provide the identification number, uh, that is VAT number. So the VAT number should be able to, uh, should be added to the related partner contact of the company. Else it would not be able to generate the if a tour for the invoice from an invoice. So here we can select the identification number as VAT and provide the number and here we can enable ID PKP and below you can add the contacts address, sales and purchase details, then bank account number and make sure you enable the ID PKP. So, to generate e fructose for the customer and uh, one can use the VAT number field on the customer to set the NPWP required to generate the e fructose file. So, if your customer does not have an NPWP, simply enter the NIK in the text area provided below. So here under accounting section, accounting tab, you can fee, uh, set the Indonesian taxes, read this way to Indonesian taxes. Here we can provide the NIK. So what is this NPWP? 
So it is a taxpayer registration number and it is 15 digit tax identification number for which the company can pay the taxes of their eligible employees under the single NPWP number. So as per tax office in Indonesia, all individuals should have this number, including a temporary resident. So even a temporary resident has to pay income tax here, while NIK is a customer's uh, customs identification number. So the personal identification number issued to users of custom services such as importers, exporters by the Directory General for Customs and Excise. And here we can also provide other details like the ta transaction code. We can add transaction code then uh, so which is the first two digits of the tax number then NIK number we have seen that then we can provide tax address and tax name. Okay, so we can save this. Now let's see how we can generate tax invoice serial number. So to export customer invoice as e for the uh, Indonesian government, one must add the range of numbers allotted by the government. So for that come under customers you can find e -Fuktur. So from here we can create so We can provide minimum and maximum uh, number that is range so after obtaining the serial numbers from the Indonesian Revenue Department, one can use the serial numbers for the tax invoice. So just uh, all you have to do is that enter this range that is minimum maximum of each group of serial numbers and order will automatically format the number to a 13 digit number as required by the Indonesian, uh, Indonesia Tax Revenue Department. So here we can see uh, counter value available that displays how many unused numbers are left in that category. So you can create multiple uh, e-factor category from here. So now we can see there are five total uh, that is available. So a number will be allocated depending on these ranges when you verify an invoice. So now when you open the invoice, and one will then uh, sort the invoices that are yet to be exported from the list of invoices. So here we can choose invoices and click on action and download e -factor. okay now let's see how we can generate e -factor csv for a single invoice or a batch of invoice so for that click create uh, create a new invoice So select a customer uh, whose country is Indonesia and ID PKP is set. Okay, so here yeah, I have selected a customer and when you go to external, you can see the details. Okay, so here we can see that identification number is set, ID PKP is enabled. Uh, so now order will allow to generate an e factor for the customer okay so here we have to set a transaction code also So on confirming the invoice, order will assign a tax number which is the next available number. So 
and the under other information tab here we can see a uh, tax number under electronic tax so the e facto can be downloaded from actions once the invoice is posted so save it and here under action you can find option to download e facto And here we can see that CSV file. So from here also we can download it. Okay. And one can also filter out the invoices uh, by invoices to generate e tool. So you can see the invoices to generate e factor and so all invoices whose e factor is not generated will be displayed. So you can choose the invoices and generate the e factor as a batch. That is after selecting the invoices uh, and then you can uh, click on action and generate the e factor. Then it is also possible to correct an invoice that has been posted and downloaded. Uh, there is a where we have a replace feature in our invoice. So for that, cancel any of the posted and downloaded invoice. Cancel these invoices cancelled. Suppose uh, one need to change the uh, transaction code, create a new invoice for the same customer. So here I need to change this. So after adding new transaction code, uh, here we can replace invoice. So you can see the cancelled invoice is shown here. Uh, so you can select it or you can just paste your copied invoice. So you can add the cancelled invoice number. And on confirming the new invoice, it will assign the same tax number of the cancelled invoice, but its third digit changes to 1. So after confirming invoice, you can see that change. Okay, so here we can find the tax number, same tax number with the third digit as 1. Then it's also possible to correct an invoice that has been posted but not downloaded yet. Uh, so we can reset e too. So to correct an invoice which is already posted but is yet to be downloaded, so for that, let's create a new invoice.
okay so the invoice is uh, confirmed mm, but we haven't downloaded the effect tool yet so what now we are going to do is that so here we can uh, see the option download effect tool so before downloading it we are going to set this to reset this to draft and then cancel the invoice cancel the entry So you can see the status has changed to cancel and then you can see a button to reset a factor and the tax number assigned for the invoice uh, will be removed. So here we can find a tax number. So we just click on reset a factor. Okay, so now you can see tax number is removed. Then uh, from now the invoice can be reset to draft and we can make, we can edit the invoice. Okay, so you can edit the invoice and make changes. And you can confirm the invoice from here. And after that you can uh, download the effect tool. So that's all other features coming under order 14 blockization for um, Indonesia. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to order at cyprocess.com.